Yeah, hi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. So apparently Ronda versus Charlotte is going to be the main event for night one of WrestleMania. This is like, I think, the second time, like, freaking what? It's really weird. Don't they, like, they hate Smack... Uh, I don't know. They don't hate SmackDown, like... Like, freaking, they always nowadays have SmackDown lose at Survivor Series and all that stuff. Yet they try to, I don't know, make SmackDown matter uh, still. You know, to have that, that main event, like Roman Reigns. So, obviously, for WrestleMania... Yeah, they're calling it WrestleMania Saturdays and WrestleMania Sundays. Not the WrestleMania Night 1 or whatever. I don't know. Some bullshit. But apparently, WrestleMania Saturdays, which is Night 1, is going to be Ronda versus Charlotte going to be the main event. I, I get it. Sure, Royal Rumble main event. If that's the case, then what with that logic, why didn't freaking Charlotte main event night one uh, when she faced Rhea Ripley? Okay? Let's fucking be, be with that shit. Because a lot of people like say, oh, because she won the Royal Rumble. First of all, not every Royal Rumble need, winner needs to be at, Rus uh, at the main event at WrestleMania. If the match is legit, the best match to be. Then obviously, first of all, the main event should be freaking Reigns versus Lesnar if the fucking show was only one one night. And by the way, I do hope the shows one day gets back to being one night. And it doesn't need to be fucking seven hours. Don't need to be fucking seven fucking hours. Okay? It could just be fucking one uh, one show, like four hours tops. Like fucking, that's what sh WrestleMania should be. That's what it always has been. But the reason why I guess they're doing this now, is aside from... I guess they don't want to freaking have... But apparently, they, now they realize that they're going to make money with this. And you know what? What can you really do? Okay? Obviously, because they make more money now, they're going to fucking do it two nights, but hopefully it could just be one night. And you could probably make even more money if you actually fucking do good shit for one night, you know? And it's supposed to be most stupendous WrestleMania, and yet... I'll be, I have to agree with a lot of people, this this WrestleMania is not looking stupendous, stupendous, as they should say. Not just the booking, it's not just the creative, but also the fucking, there's no stars in WrestleMania. If you really want to make this stupendous, unfortunately, you know, there's no part-timers as much as like, guys like Lesnar. And I don't even think there's Goldberg. Like, fucking A, wouldn't it make sense even fucking Goldberg to be in this WrestleMania? You know, or fucking... Uh, uh, sorry, you have to have Cena. Where the fuck is Cena? Where the... F uh, I understand Undertaker's retired. Even an appearance of Undertaker. Like, what you should do... I would even pay for this. Have Undertaker have his ceremony, his Hall of Fame ceremony at WrestleMania. Like I said in a video beforehand. But apparently you're gonna do... I got two for one special on SmackDown. Um... There's a lot of things that are not uh, fucking set. If anything, I, again, like, if it was booked right, I would have not mind having maybe Edge being main event WrestleMania. No matter who he faces, maybe him versus fucking... Or it gotta be a part-timer. It's gotta be a guy who's a legit main eventer. Heck, even a Cena main event would be legit good. Okay? It's gotta be a fucking main eventer, not fucking Charlotte and Ronda. I'm gonna tell you why. Like, I understand fucking... Okay, so apparently at the moment, Edge versus Styles is listed for WrestleMania. It's fucking me for, like, a night two. If you were to book it right... Again, like, I already said... Uh, first of all, Edge versus Styles. A dream match, sure, to some smarks, sure. I'm not saying it's not a dream... Or it's not a match I wouldn't mind seeing. But obviously, the booking sucked. Like, freaking the way you book... Uh, and again, I have no problem with the heel Edge. But the way you book... First of all, him be becoming, like, your typical... Uh, fucking heel shit is fucking stupid. Your typical fucking, oh, I'm, uh, oh, I'm mysterious. I'm a dark, evil, bullshit character. That's that's stupid. Okay, that doesn't. That's not fucking cool. I'm sorry. Like Edge being that. That's not fucking cool. What would be cool is definitely getting the old heel Edge that we had to get about. I mean, you got people like, oh my, this is awesome heel. So him acting like. Alistair Black is cool. I don't know. We'll talk. We'll talk about that in another video. Even I just thought of it. Why not make more videos, right? But like, if maybe it was like, yeah, if Styles, you know, was the heel, maybe he attacked Edge and it brought up like, oh, you almost injured me at the Rumble, cost my career, shit like that. You know, simple storyline could have been good. You know, that could have been easily the main event for Night One or heck, again, God forbid, even Cena versus Edge, I wouldn't mind seeing that. That's already could be a big match for night one. Heck, yeah, Edge and or stuff like that. Anything like on the Edge, like a match that actually makes sense would have been big, okay? But again, like, 
obviously lo logically since they were like, that that's a, the sad thing of, like that's the bad thing about this two night thing since you're gonna unify the titles which i believe they should that's the problem you could have the world titles not even be defended in the night one show you know th that's the bad part about it like again i'm not saying they shouldn't fucking have two different titles i think they should c combine the titles but because freaking they're th that big match is gonna happen for night two which is again the true main event the sad part is fucking what? Like, what's the real? What's gonna be wordy for night one? Like, really, what is wordy for night one? I understand last, like, listen, last year it happened, right? But again, it would have been more meaningful. Maybe we would have gotten a bigger match if Lashley versus McIntyre actually mean evented. That would have been a way bigger match than fucking some fake ass uh, uh, history making women's bullshit. Okay, again, this is just your typical women's main event bullshit. That the reason why Ron is because I'll get it because the women main eventing again because it's main event cucks. Uh, we gotta appeal to all the cucks and faggots and white knights out there. We gotta make it seem like the women matter for God's sake. So no one, even no one fucking cares. They don't fucking draw for shit. Do you really think that this is gonna help make people give a shit about WrestleMania? Do you really think people could give a shit about night one because of this and be, and be intrigued? Heck, honestly, the Kevin Owens segment would be more of a main event. Or fucking Stone Cold and Kevin Owens is a more better main event. Heck, as a segment than fucking Ronda and Charlotte. I'm sorry, it is. The, uh, okay, you, like, really, so great. We're going to see fucking a, she a disgusting She-Hulk main event WrestleMania versus uh, an MMA bitch. And now apparently that's empowering. Oh, cause it's empowering. Whatever. No one fucking cares. That's not big time. I bet you again. No one really gives a shit about what's wrestling. Even Ronda Rousey. No one's gonna fucking give a shit. This as the main event. You're gonna kill. You killed WrestleMania night one with Charlotte. I mean with Sasha and fucking Bianca. You really want to kill WrestleMania again with this main event crap again? Every time the win main event WrestleMania, the WrestleMania has not been good. Okay. When your first time had the win main event back at WrestleMania 35 with a bot filled mess. It was a joke. Of a main event. And that's when should, at least that should have combined the titles. But no, you didn't come. Heck, I get. I wouldn't really have a problem with this. You and I, I will always still have a problem with. The women shouldn't even never main event. Even if you do this match, I will proclaim. I would not have a problem if fucking Charlotte versus Becky versus Ronda happened again this time. But you act unifying the titles. And I would understand that more. Like, okay, we're not doing main. Okay, fine. We'll get, at least get night two main. But you're not even doing that. I would never be okay with a women's main event. That would make more sense. But no. Let's fucking have Ron and Charlotte again. Because it's the fucking appeal to the sm fucking smarks. And the fucking lovers of women's wrestling. The white knights. To make it seem like. Oh yeah we care about women's wrestling here. You know no one fucking will ever care about women's goddamn wrestling. People only give a fuck about fucking women looking hot. And doing hot shit. But you won't do that anymore. Because women. Oh because it's demeaning to women and shit. Again no one fucking cares about women's wrestling. Women's wrestling sucks. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll never fucking draw. And if you think that main event is a draw just because Ronda is not, I'm sorry. I remember, if memory serves me right, when Ronda returned, her views got less views than Rey Mysterio returning. What does that tell you? People gave, gave a fuck more about Rey Mysterio returning than Ronda. Heck, Rey Mysterio should main event wrestling anymore. But obviously that wouldn't make any sense because it was him versus Miz, really? Or that stupid gay, gay tag made with Logan Paul and shit? And really, like, fucking Ronda and Charlotte, what, what is even the fucking story, like, fucking, it's just, ah, like, they, okay, sure, they have a little backstory, but what was really the fucking true story here, come on. It's not really entertaining, like, I mean, sure, it's giving the smarts what they want, but, like, I would still rather have, at least Edge is a fucking guy, like, who's a legit main eventer. But again, it wouldn't make sense if you actually have a legit driven story. But again, that's the problem when you have two titles fucking getting combined or not even defending the world titles I mean defending in that one. But who cares? Fuck it. You know? Heck, a fucking I don't know, some big Goldberg fucking match even. Like heck, if you did fucking Goldberg versus Reigns at night one and whatever, it would have been big time too. Instead. Or so, just something. Fuck. A big match. But that's a fucking sad thing. There really isn't a big match at WrestleMania besides Reigns and fucking Lesnar. Like it or not, that is the big match. And sadly, that's happening at one of the nights. But what you're gonna do for night one is this is a WrestleMania that's supposed to matter. You know how you're... That's how you're... You're really diluting WrestleMania. You're really fucking making this WrestleMania, like, not... Not just nonsense. This is supposed to be most of stupendous WrestleMania, yet it's freaking a joke. And the main event is not even good enough for the main event. I'm sorry. I understand that, yeah, I like, it, it's too late, you already announced it, but like, 
just know that no one's going to give a shit much about your night one. Apparently Stone Cold and Kevin Owens is going to have their segment at night one. That's probably going to be the only saving grace. I would honestly rather see that as the main event segment more than fucking Charlotte and Ronda. Because no one fucking cares about women wrestling. I'm sorry. It's not that these sound sexist. It's the fucking truth. I'm saying the truth here. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Alright, that's the same people. Until next time, peace. Yeah, bye.